redeemed us, Lord, by your blood, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a kingdom, priests to our God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us go to mind our sins as we offer our sacrifice to God, praying for ourselves, those who are here to us, praying for our college, for our state, and praying for the end of coronavirus. Let us go to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and effort to extol you by a dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamma. Gamaliel, a teacher of the law respected by all people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Thaddeus appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all of those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean, at the time of the census. He also drew people after him. But he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor, or this activity, is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourself fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had been flogged ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they be found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Amen. Speak to God. The response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, and whom should I be afraid? Alleluia. <clears throat> One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and, con and contemplate his temple. Alleluia. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Amen. Does not lay on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? 
he said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 wages worth of food would not be enough for each one of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined. Now, there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves gave thanks and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves, that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is coming into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So our beautiful reading reminds us of the beautiful grounds of St. Joseph with beautiful grass lawn everywhere which is so well tended uh, by the maintenance, so beautiful. If Jesus was to come to this place, probably he would make us all sit outside. I mean the historical Jesus. Jesus is here with us. He would make us sit outside and enjoy eating from the lawn, although sometimes we use it walking <laughs> about. So, uh, but uh, the theme is the bread of life. It is almost the Passover, that's what the reading says. And people go to Jesus. Jesus is the true bread of life. They went to the wilderness, the same place where people are fed uh, once with manna from heaven, but now they have something better than manna here. God himself is there, he is distributing, and there is uh, still left over, there is enough for everybody. Jesus is the true bread of life. Sometimes uh, people don't get it. We hear this crowd had the, the Zebedee syndrome because they are still thinking about the world, the kingdom, to take him, make him a king. Like uh, the sons of Zebedee were requesting to sit each on his either side. But that is not why he came. He came to feed us spiritually, to build his kingdom here in the world, conversion of hearts. But when we get it, then it becomes a life changing event. That faith, that knowledge. We hear the apostles in the first reading where they are preaching the gospel and they are brought before the court, the Supreme Court of that time, the St. Henry, to be tried because they are preaching about Jesus. And then one of the best prophecies happens right there. There is this man, the teacher of the law, he is respected, he knows how to interpret not only the scriptures, but the signs of the time. And the promise, that time, it was a messianic time. There were people coming saying, I am he, I am the messiah, and all that. But the preaching would die a natural death. And then Gamaliel tells the other judges, yes, uh, I think what we should do, instead of wasting our energy, trying these men, these people, let them free, let them go and preach. If this comes from God, if it is not from God, it is going to die a natural death. If it comes from God, you cannot stop it. You even might find yourself on the other side 
fighting against God. Now, that was one of the greatest prophecies in the New Testament because it is already 2,000 years and more since Gamaliel uttered those words. And the gospel is still continuing. It has multiplied because it was the mark of God. And our encouragement from the reading is that whatever you do, however little it is, if you are doing it with good intention, you are doing it having God in your mind for the good of the gospel, for the good of humanity, that good you are doing will last forever. You will continue growing. Yeah, people might do evil, might do evil, but it does not last forever because ultimately God wins. And we are thinking of even these times, there are so many acts of kindness from people during the coronavirus. Those acts of kindness do not go unheeded. They are the acts of heroism who should be remembered even after the time of coronavirus, after our time. So let us do good, especially the will of God. Let us witness to the gospel that lasts forever. Let us pray. God our Father, we thank you this morning for the gift of faith, for the gift of your word that it may continue being strength and hope of humanity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray during these times when the churches are closed, Lord, open the hearts and minds of people to seek you and to find you, so that everybody will be a witness to your goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray during these times of lockdown, of coronavirus, people are in fear, Lord, remove fear, give them strength and courage to face life with hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who go out to take care of the sick, the doctors, the nurses, every health care worker, families. Lord, give them strength and protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick from coronavirus. They are in agony. Lord, give them relief from their agony and give them healing and strength. As we also pray for all other people who are ill, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the dead, we pray especially for Dan, who died of coronavirus, that the Lord will give them everlasting life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, accept our prayers and petitions, we beg you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which have us given human hands have made, to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gift that are eternal through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you both. But in this time of our fault, love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of life rise to eternal life, and the halls of heaven heaven the kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and he is rising the life of all her reason. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, saying together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O in the highest. This will come in the name of the Lord, O in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like a new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when his was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. And confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and Lord Clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Amen. art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, that as we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and bless us with that, have peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. You only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Christ our Lord was hardened over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, or even reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. The Pope's prayer through the Blessed Virgin Mary for protection against coronavirus. O Mary, you shall continuously along our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross run near to the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm, you salvation of all people, know what we need, and we trust that you will provide for those needs, so that, as a can of valley, joy and celebration may return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father, and to do what Jesus tells us, he who took our sufferings upon himself, and took up our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. It is through the cross of our Lord, in which we are united and closer to Jesus and to one another. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, masses and put. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for being here and have a blessed day in the Lord. You too, Father.